Hello, my name is Tammy Kolschmidt. I'm a certified clinical thermographer, a certified body talk practitioner, and a periotherapist. So many of the women and men um, only go for treatment when they have a symptom. So they're missing the whole point of prevention, early screening, early disease detection. It's about catching the dysfunction before it becomes a symptom. Um, oftentimes, our dysfunction starts years before we feel it. So thermography is a way to screen for that. And it's also known as digital infrared thermal imaging. It's done with a camera. It measures your body's temperature. And what you need to know is that your temperature does not lie. So if you have variating variations in your heat pattern, whether it's cold or hot, it's gonna come through in these images. So your temperature is important, but also the patterns that your images are making. We can do different images of different body parts. A lot of women come to me for breasts, men come to me for testicles and prostate, but we can look at the spine, we can look at the thyroid, the face, the limbs, pretty much the whole body. And what we're looking for is temperature variations and differences. So your body is made of flow systems. You have your lymphatic flow, your digestive flow, your nervous system flow, your hormones, and your energy. Thermography can pick up where the blockages are in those flow systems. Where is their um, stagnation? Where is their nerve neuropathy, which would be a nervous system disorder? Where is their hormonal imbalance? Um, and the basis of all this is tracking inflammation. So inflammation is really the start of many disease processes. Deeper than inflammation is toxicity. Because once you have toxicity, then you get inflammation. And toxicity can be chemicals, pesticides, um, infections, things that are hidden in your body that you don't know you have. Um, toxicity can also be your thoughts and your emotions. So some of the things that thermography can detect and that I've personally seen in thermal imaging, um, I've seen a lot of t uh, TMJ disorder, jaw joint disorder, um, periodontal infection, sinus infections that they, they don't know they have. Um, thyroid, uh, hyperthyroid, I've seen nodules on the thyroid, um, blockages in the carotid artery, uh, blockages anywhere in different lymphatic nodes, um, breast issues, everything from hormones to fibroids, to fluid-filled cysts, to lipomas, to actually cancer. Um, we've seen liver markers, we've seen kidney distress, we've seen lung markers, um, digestive stagnation, um, different neuropathies in the arms, legs, hands, and feet, myofascial disorders, so muscular issues. The, the list goes on. And they're not, I'm not going to call these things diseases because they're not diseases yet. They're the things that are happening in your body before the disease actually manifests. I should say that there's no radiation, it's non-invasive, and it does not touch you. Unlike a mammogram, we know there's radiation, it's, it compresses your breast, um, it can promote anxiety, there's a whole list of things. Thermography is so simple. We want to see how your body is functioning. How's your blood flowing? How's your nervous system reacting? Is the lymphatics congested because lymphatics drain the toxins and waste from your body. So one of the reasons thermography is for early disease detection is because it can pick up cancer cells um, when it's about the size of a grain of rice. So that's at about two years. So you will have had cancer forming in your body for about two years. Um, it takes a mammogram eight years before it actually detects the calcification. At that point, it can be about the size of a dime, and that's over four billion cells. Thermal imaging is a functional test. We're looking at your body's physiology. Mammograms and ultrasounds are structural. They're only looking for a, a deformity in, in the structure, which is commonly called a calcification. Mammograms produce billions and billions of dollars in revenue, and they also fit into what I call the protocol, which is get your mammogram, get your ultrasound, get your biopsy, move into surgery, move into chemo and radiation. There's a whole protocol that's followed, which is understood by all of the doctors because that's what they're trained in. 
Thermography brings in new information. Um, it brings in a new way of thinking. It brings in new possibilities. It kind of disrupts that protocol. And I think if we could sit down with doctors and point all this out and show them the paths that, the, that you can see in the thermal imaging and talk to them about the symptoms that the patient is having and make the correlations, you can see that you can change the disease process in amazing ways just based on that information. By the way, everyone should be aware that mammograms and ultrasounds are also assessment tools. They are not diagnostic. The only way to diagnose breast cancer is with a biopsy. Um, there's a lot of good things happening on the West Coast with thermal imaging. Um, Dr. Melvin, who is my reading doctor, he has different offices in San Diego and in LA. Uh, that, his company, I think, is totalthermalimaging.com. You could check him out if you're out there. What kind of degree or what, what is the reader, who is the reader, and look that person up because you have your technician and you have your reader. And you want to know what your technician does and what is their, their role in, in the health industry. And it's important for the room to be cooled. Um, it's important for the room not to have windows or outside light. And it's important to have proper software and a high resolution camera. So there's a, there's a lot of details that go into it. And I think most people who are doing thermography do it because they really love it and they want to help people. But there are some that aren't doing it as well as they could, as in anything. So this is what you should expect when you come in to do uh, your thermography appointment. It's typically a half hour appointment and yes, you have to take your clothes off. <laughs> we do need to see your skin. That's always a bit surprising for some people. Um, so you will be dressed in a gown and you're going to cool for about 10 minutes depending on the scan that we do. Uh, you do fill out a comprehensive form so we understand your health history. and. The, image, the actual imaging time is maybe 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes at the most. So it's literally you're in and out in a half an hour. So from there, the images get sent to the reading doctor. He generates a report. You get all of your, your images with a full you know, um, text about what the findings are. And then with me or with my other technician, Betsy, you're able to have a half hour consult to review everything. And that's not always done. Sometimes they just give you the test and away you go. And then you don't know what to do with it. So that's something to ask you know, the thermographer if you do get a consult after you do your images. And it takes about a week to get your results back. Um, after that, depending on what Dr. Melvin decides by your tests, you're either going to return in three months or six months. So it really gives you a full picture of what is happening in your body. And with that information, I can then guide you and help you create a path towards wellness. And that's the goal.